I was just thinking earlier today about how I used to drive this 15 passenger van and it's because we have seven kids and we had this van and it was huge. Like it looks huge. It looks like this heavy, serious, wonderful car that fits a gazillion humans in it. But if I drove it by myself or if I drove it with only like one or two kids, it felt like an empty shell. And then heaven forbid there be some precipitation or wind. I remember driving on the highway with that thing and I only had two kids in the car with me and it was a windy day and like I felt like the car might blow away. It was not very comforting. I did not enjoy that. We don't have that car anymore because of how scary it was. Anyways, I think from the outside looking in, you're like, oh wow, that's a really big car. It must be really awesome. But then once you're in it, especially when you're in it alone, it doesn't feel right. There's nothing, it's just, it's not great. So I'm going to read this verse to us today. It's from 2 Timothy chapter 1, and I'm reading it from the uh, Amplified Bible, which is a fave of mine. It's got a lot of extra words in it, so it kind of helps you to really think about what you're reading. Uh, so I'm going to go from verse 9, and it says this, For it is he who delivered and saved us and called us with a calling in itself, holy and leading to holiness, to a life of consecration, a vocation of holiness. He did it not because of anything of merit that we have done, but because of and to further his own purpose and grace, unmerited favor, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. It is that purpose, this is verse 10, it is that purpose and grace which he now has made known and has fully disclosed and made real to us through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who annulled death and made it of no effect and brought life and immortality, immunity from eternal death, to light through the gospel. So the gospel, the good news, it's for all the people. It's for us every day. It's not just for Christmas time. It's not just for Easter time. It is for us daily. And so what are your thoughts like daily? Are you this like shell that on the outside you're looking great, People think you're doing fine, but on the inside, things aren't quite right. And when the winds blow, you're like, what is happening? Why are things so hard? Why is life not going the way that I want it to? I want you to recalibrate today. Come back to the word. Come back to Jesus and think, man, he died for me. What does that mean? What does my purpose and grace look like? What does grace look like in my life? Am I not accepting it from God and therefore not able to give it to other people? Uh, do I receive grace and receive grace, but I never give grace out? Let us think about grace today. I want you to just close your eyes, put your hands out, and let's receive God's goodness and grace. Jesus has already died for us. And it's something that I think it's easy. Again, as Christians, we're like, oh yeah, we think about it on Sundays. We really think about it during Christmas and we really think about it during Easter. But let's think about it truly every day because it should help us to stand firm, not like this 15 passenger van. It should help us to feel full on the inside, right? The way that it's supposed to be. Like that 15 passenger van is supposed to have 15 passengers in it, right? And then it feels like that purpose is being fulfilled. Our purpose is just to know God and to be in community with him and to receive his love and give it out to those around us. So let's live in our purpose today. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for giving us a purpose. Um, even though it's easy for us to, to not deserve it and to not uh, live in it, God, you aren't calling us to do anything crazy. You're not calling us to cure cancer or to uh, you know save nations in one fell swoop. We can pray for one person at a time and make a difference in the lives of one person at a time, uh, starting with ourselves and those around us. So God, would you help us to have eyes that are open to you, uh, to your will, to the things that you're doing in and around us, uh, and that we wouldn't be hoarders of grace or that we wouldn't be rejectors of grace, but that we would receive it and uh, freely give it to those around us. God, you are so good. And we just pray for grace and mercy today and every day. We love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for being with us.